about you, but it's pretty rubbish being stuck at home at the moment, isn't it? Normally, I'd be teaching art to wonderful kiddies just like you. My goodness, I really do miss it at the moment. So, I thought, why not bring my Crafty Kids projects to you at home? Cool, hey? But I hear you thinking, and guess what? No art supplies, no worries, I got you covered. Head over to my blog for tips on how to make your very own art materials. How cool is that, hey? Every week, I'll bring you a new themed crafty project, plus loads of other cool how-tos on my blog page. So, what theme do we think it's going to be this week? Hmm. It's Easter week. Did you get it right? It's Easter week, of course. Duh! Well, we're going to make a really cute, but very, very, very naughty bunny. So my cute little bunny here has had a bit of a busy morning searching for eggs on his Easter egg hunt. But look, he's got his little bottom stuck in a flower pot because he was looking for these chocolate eggs. So in this week's mini makes, we're going to make a bunny bottom in a flower pot with some beautiful little flowers. And if you want to, totally optional, you can add your own little Easter eggs as well. So are you ready to get started? Come on then, let's get crafty. To make your bunny's bottom, you just need an old sock. Open it up and roll it down so that you can get to the inside of the bottom of the sock. And then simply take some grains of rice or some sand or lentils or anything that you've got in your cupboard in the kitchen and then fill it up. You don't need to fill the sock all the way up, probably about a fistful of rice or lentils or sand, whatever you've used, will be sufficient to make your bunny's bottom. Make sure you shake it all the way down to the bottom. Squeeze all the filling down to the bottom of the sock. Push it along so you can make a nice round shape for your bunny's bottom. Then, with an elastic band, secure it in place. Try and do this quite tightly without snapping the elastic band so that nothing escapes. Once you've finished putting your elastic band on, the next thing to do is to get your scissors. Now you might need an adult to help you with this because you might need some very sharp scissors if your children's scissors are not sharp enough to cut the sock. Cut 
off all the excess because you don't need that bit. Now pop your bottom over to the side. We're now going to make the bunny's feet. So you need your little piece of cardboard, mine was from a cereal packet, a little bit of felt or white fabric, whatever you can find, or even white paper. It doesn't matter, I chose white felt because it was nice and fluffy like the feet of a bunny. Place some glue on the cardboard. And stick your felt or your white fabric or white paper onto the cardboard. Make sure it's stuck on properly. Then, with your scissors, cut off any excess, just so it doesn't get in the way for the next bit. Now, with a pencil, we're going to draw the feet shape. You're going to draw both of them on the same piece of card and material. Think about it a little bit like a face shape, where it's bigger at the top and smaller at the bottom. If you find that difficult, draw a big circle and then below it, draw a little circle and then join them together and then cut them out. Once you have one done, you can use that one as a template to draw around. So pop it on, hold it in place or get someone else to hold it for you and with your pencil, draw around the little foot. Now your bunny would not be complete without pink pads on the bottom of his feet. So with your little pink piece of paper, you're going to draw two big circles and six small circles. They don't have to be neat, don't worry. Then with your scissors, cut them out. Once you've cut out all your pink pads, simply take some glue and stick them to the white bunny feet. Um, hey presto, we've got two little cute bunny feet. Time to put our feet onto our rabbit bottom. Make sure the opening of the sock is away from you and resting on the table. 
squish his bottom to make sure that he's nice and round. Get your piece of cotton wool and with a nice big blob of glue, pop it on the bottom. And then stick your cotton wool to the glue. You will need to be careful because the glue will probably take overnight to dry unless it's really warm. Now put a blob of glue just to the bottom right hand side of your cotton wool and stick on one of the feet. Repeat the same thing for the other foot. And as if by magic, you've got a nice fluffy little rabbit. The first thing we need to do to make our flowers is to make the nice green stalks. Now I've used some old chopsticks I kept from a takeaway restaurant. You don't have to use that, you can use anything you like. Sticks from the garden, an old paintbrush, anything that's stick shaped that looks like it could be a stalk. And then all you need to do is simply paint it with some green paint. If you don't have any paint at home, don't worry, have a look on my website for some DIY tips on how to make your own paint at home. Now it's time to make the pretty flower heads to go on top of our stalks for when they're dry. You need two pieces of paper. It can be coloured or you can just simply use plain paper that you paint and colour it in yourself to make it pink or yellow or whatever colour you fancy. You want to use the short edge of the piece of paper. So if it's an A4 sheet of paper, you want the short edge of the paper with a ruler Measure out and mark five centimetres from the short edge inwards. Mark three marks all the way along. You could ask an adult to help you with this if you struggle with measuring. Then with your ruler, line up the dots, get your pencil, and draw a line. Then grab those lovely scissors and cut it out. Now, don't put that ruler too far out the way because you need it again. Now, you're going to mark one centimetre away from the long edge of your piece of paper. Hold in your piece of paper in one hand, now get your scissors and at regular intervals you're going to snip little cuts along, but not all the way along that your paper falls apart, but up to the line that you've just drawn. Don't worry too much about being really precise and making sure that they're all exactly the same width. By the end of it, it should look a bit like this. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to curl each of the little fingers. I've decided to use a chopstick, but you can use anything you like, a pencil, a stick, anything just to help curl the little piece of paper. Roll it all the way down until you get to the line to create a little curl and repeat the process for every single one of the little piece of paper fingers.
should now have something that looks a little bit like this. It doesn't matter if yours are a little bit bigger than mine or a little bit smaller than mine. It doesn't look much like a flower at the moment so what we need to do next is attach the pink bit to the green bit. You will need another pair of hands probably to help you with this bit unless you're really really steady. Holding it in one hand get a little bit of sellotape and secure the paper to the stick. You want to make sure you secure it at the top of the stick so that we can't see it. Then gently wrap the paper around the stick. It helps if you twist the stick in your hand as you do it. Be careful not to squash the little curly bits because these are the petals of your flower. And as you can see it's starting to look a little bit more like a flower. Keep going until you get to the end and you haven't got anything left. Make sure you have a little bit of sellotape on hand to secure the bottom half of the flower. And voila, you have one of your little flowers. You're going to do exactly the same for the other coloured flower. Just follow the same instructions. Right, now the exciting part, putting all your hard work together. So you should have all your bits and pieces like this. Pop most of them off to the side. All you need at the moment is your flower pot. Stuff some newspaper or old paper into the bottom of your flower pot. Then place your bunny with his bottom obviously facing upwards and his feet towards you into your flower pot. You want to put him towards the front of the pot so you leave a little bit of a gap behind. Then taking some green fabric or anything you've got to stuff in the back to make it look a little bit like grass or you could use brown and make it look like mud. Stuff it into the back of the pot behind the bunny. Adjust it where it needs adjusting. Take your flowers the ones you made earlier, and pop them into the back of the flower pot. They should sit there nicely behind the newspaper without any need for any glue or sellotape. Then, if you want to, you can add some little mini eggs to the back of your pot behind your bunny's bottom. Once everything's in place, you might decide that you might like to add a pretty bow to your pot. Find some old ribbon, 
or a piece of fabric, it could just be a strip of fabric, and tie it in a little bow at the front. I chose a nice purple one. And there you have it, your naughty little Easter bunny in a flower pot. Enjoy and happy Easter.